Hey y'all, just some kayak catfish. Today's video is going to be the first video in a two video series about kayak catfishing tournaments. This first video is going to be all about the basics. I'm going to talk about the differences between kayak fishing tournaments and boat fishing tournaments. I'll kind of go over a little bit about what you're going to need to have on your kayak in order to be able to compete. And then I'll talk about how the scoring is different, how you're going to need to submit your fish for these tournaments. And then the second half of this first video, I'm going to go over the Tourney X app. I'm just going to walk you through it step by step, show you all the different tabs, how you register for tournaments, how you submit your catches, etc. Because that's the most commonly used app for scoring fish in kayak fishing tournaments. The second video in this series is going to be me out there competing in a tournament. I've got a tournament coming up this weekend and I'm going to take you all with me. I'm going to talk about the strategy I'm taking in this tournament to try to give myself a chance to win. I'll show you the fish I'm catching for it and then you know we'll post up the results too. Good, bad, ugly, indifferent. I'm going to take you with, it, with me here step by step. So this first video, like I said, just going to be about the basics. What I want to do with this video, this kayak catfishing, it's a sport that's continuing to grow. More and more people's getting involved and as the sport grows, more people are wanting to get involved in tournaments. And for some of you, this will be your first catfishing tournament, will be the first tournament you've ever fished. So what I hope to do with this video series is to kind of lessen the anxiety of that first tournament and just get you comfortable and familiar with everything that you're going to need and the process of how to score the fish so that you'll be ready for that first tournament there. So what makes a kayak fishing tournament different than a boat fishing tournament? Well really the biggest difference is how fish are scored. In a boat fishing tournament people take fish in a live well to a designated area for a weigh-in and the winner is determined by the total weight of the fish. In kayak fishing tournaments we don't have that option. We can't haul around big fish and keep them alive in the kayak and it's just not feasible to be out there trying to weigh fish on individual scales and get accurate weights for a tournament. So what we do instead is we measure fish on an approved measuring board with a tournament identifier code. And I'll go over that a little bit more in a second. But that's the biggest difference between a boat tournament and a kayak fishing tournament. Boat tournament scores the fish by weight. Kayak fishing tournaments score them by length. Now, as far as what you're going to need for the actual tournament themselves, each individual tournament will have a list of rules and requirements. Most of them, though, will require you to have a life jacket on at all times. That's pretty standard. Uh, you're also going to have to comply with your state laws as far as lights on your kayak uh, for after dark if you're fishing early morning hours or at night. Uh, most states for kayaks, it's a white light that's visible from 360 degrees. If you have a motor on your kayak, that kind of opens up a different can of worms. Uh, so definitely check your state regulations, but the tournament rules should have all that in place. Um, the other things that's going to be required for your kayak, most of these tournaments nowadays require you to have a flag just, you know, again, for safety purposes out there, help you be more visible. Um, and then, of course, you're going to need a measuring board to measure these fish. So uh, the measuring board I have here is a kayak catfishing board by Muskie Bumper. This board, in my opinion, is the best board on the market uh, for these kayak catfishing tournaments. It's lightweight. Uh, which is important in the kayak. It floats because that's important too. Things happen. Boards get knocked overboard. You don't want to lose your investment. Uh, but the big thing about this board that's different is it's wide. This is a nice big platform. It's 10 inches wide. You can lay a big trophy size catfish on here and be able to support it in the kayak. And uh, the measurements go top to bottom. So you get an accurate length. Now for as far as scoring these fish, Basically what you have to do is you have to put the fish's head up against the bump. This is called the bump section of the board here. Its face needs to be touching the board and then you want to get the tail portion, whatever the longest part of the tail, that's how you're going to score the fish. It needs to touch the line. Uh, that's how you're going to get the length for these tournaments. Now in addition to taking the picture of the fish, you're also going to need to have your tournament identifier code in the picture. And this tournament identifier code is just a combination of letters or numbers designated by the tournament director. That basically just lets them know that you caught that fish during the designated tournament hours. And in addition to that, you also have to have your 
uh, GPS turned on on your phone. The GPS, when you take a picture for the tournament, it puts a date and time stamp on there to again let the tournament director know that you caught that fish during the date and time that the tournament was going on. And the GPS lets them know that you caught that fish on approved waters. That means you weren't out there in some pond or pay lake, etc. that you caught the fish on the body of water where you said you caught it. So that's pretty much it guys. Now when it comes to these boards uh, you're going to need to check with the individual tournament because some tournaments allow certain boards and some tournaments don't. But with these boards, and I ain't a salesman for them, but you want a board that's wide enough to support a trophy sized catfish. I mean if you're in a catfish tournament you're going to be submitting some big fish. And some of these boards they're very narrow, like the catch board is one of them, the rappola board. Those boards are adequate length to capture the total length of the fish but they're not really good as far as balancing a big fish on the kayak or balancing a big fish on the board in the kayak excuse me and getting the pictures that way now because of that these tournaments will generally allow you to go to shore to get the pictures just for they'll allow you to be able to lay that across those narrow boards and just for your own safety if you don't feel comfortable balancing in the kayak and getting the picture etc I'm going to tell you, it's to your advantage to get a board that will allow you to measure fish in the kayak. A wide one like this kayak catfishing board by Musky Bumper here will allow you to do that. Just, you know, from a com competition standpoint, all things being equal, if you have equal skills as to somebody else, you're on the same body of water, same amount of time, if you're going to shore to measure fish and the other person's out there with the same skill level as you, they're not, they have an advantage over you because, you know, Reeling in your lines, going to shore, how long does that take? If you got eight hours to fish and you spend seven hours with your lines in the water because you kept having to go to shore to measure fish, the other person that was measuring fish in their kayak had the full eight hours, they've got an advantage over you. So I would encourage all of you to get a board that's suitable to allow you to be able to measure fish in the kayak. So, guys, that's pretty much it. These kayak catfishing tournaments, they're very simple. I mean, you just go out, catch fish, put them on the board, measure them, take a picture on your phone, and submit it through the Tourney X app for the term. So now I'm gonna go over the Tourney X app. I'm gonna flip the camera around, I'll show you here on my phone and just walk you through it step by step. All right guys, so now I'm just gonna walk you through the Tourney X app. I'll show you each individual tab and kind of explain how to use each one of them. So the first tab is the registration tab. That is how you're going to sign up for the tournaments. Now you can scroll through and see everything that's available or the easiest way to find the catfish tournaments is just to type catfish in the search box and that will bring up all of the tournaments that are available. And you find ones you wanna sign up for, you just click on the blue register tab. That will bring up the date and time of the tournament, give you a brief description of the tournament. You scroll on down, you'll see the tournament entry fee, and then there'll be three boxes you have to check. It's the tourney X, terms of use, the rules and regulations, and then the terms and conditions. And that's basically just acknowledging that you have read all those. If you want to click on them and actually read them, which I would encourage you to do, especially the rules of the tournament, you just click on the highlighted box there and it will bring up all of the rules of the tournament. And once you are ready to sign up, you click those three boxes, hit the register for tournament button, and it will take you to the payment tab where you can pay and you can pay for the tournaments through PayPal. Going back to the main screen, the next tab you will see is the identifier tab there. You click on that and that will be the show you the identifiers to use for the tournaments that you submit your pictures with. The gray boxes there are tournaments that I have registered for but aren't currently taking place. So you'll get your identifier either at the captain's meeting before the tournament or if your tournament doesn't have a captain's meeting, it will post a few minutes before the tournament starts. But we'll just click on one here that's ongoing. You can see the tournament identifier code there for that one. Uh, next is the live well tab. We'll skip over that for now. I'll circle back to it in just a minute when we get to the submit catch tab. The next one is the manage catch. Again, it will bring up the tournaments. The red one is the tournament I'm in that's currently ongoing. I'll click on that. You can see the fish I currently have submitted. Obviously, it's been a terrible month for me thus far. Only one good fish. Uh, there's a little box down in the corner, hide cold. You can see other fish that you've submitted that have been uh, culled out for the bigger fish. Basically, this tab is just to do what it says, manage your catch. If you, for some reason you need to delete a fish or maybe you didn't get the right picture, whatever, you just swipe left on the individual fish and there will be a delete option there. 
going back, the next tab is the standings tab, which is again basically just what it says. It's the standings of the tournaments you're in. Uh, you can scroll through, see the tournaments you've registered for. I'll click on one here just to show you. This is a completed tournament. Um, it just lists the standings there. You can click on an individual person and see the fish that they turned in for their score. Uh, you can click on an individual fish if you want to and be able to see the fish, zoom in, etc. And the final tab here is the Submit Catch button. This is how you're going to submit the photos for the individual tournament. So you click on that, you click on the individual tournament you want to submit for, and it's going to bring up this screen. Now, there's two buttons at the top. There's a Capture Photo in blue and then a gray button that says Browse Photos. The Capture Photo is basically taking your picture of the fish through the Tourney X app. Personally, I don't recommend using that. We've had problems with the pictures not turning out so great by taking them through the app. What I recommend doing is taking the picture on your phone like normal and then going into browse photos to upload it that way. So I'll click on that and we'll browse the photos here, bring those up, and we'll just pick a fish here to submit. So when you first click on this picture, you'll see the picture kind of looks crunched together there. It's not a good photo. Don't worry about that. Once you actually submit the fish, the, the picture will look exactly like it does on your phone. The other thing you will notice is that little red X there beside the picture. That is the GPS coordinates. Now that is not available to your competition or anybody else looking uh, at the standings of, of the tournament. What that is available for is the judges. The tournament judges need to be able to see that you've caught that fish on eligible waters. So again, like I said earlier, you need to have the GPS uh, turned on on your phone so there's a date and time stamp and GPS location to show that you're catching the fish where you need to be and not in some pay lake or some pond. Uh, next box down here is the length. That's how you're going to submit the length of your fish. So let's just say, for instance, that fish was 40 inches. We'll click that, click done. Under that is the type box. That's already filled in since this is a catfish tournament, but if you were in a multi-species tournament, there would be a drop-down box where you would select the type of fish. Once you have that filled in, you click on the red button that says Submit Catch. Now it's gonna bring up a couple options. You can submit to leaderboard, which is just what it sounds. You would submit it to the leaderboard. It'll be available for everyone in the public to see, your competition to see, that you have caught this fish and added to your score. The other option is to send to Livewell. And that was that tab that I showed you a minute ago that kind of skipped over. When you click on the Livewell and you submit fish there, these are only available to you, only you see those, and you have the option of sending them at a designated time. A lot of people like to sandbag in tournaments and kind of wait till the end to submit their catches, and so if you take a picture, submit it to the live well, that's where it goes, and you'll click that little red button down in the bottom corner to submit it at whatever time. A lot of tournaments, for instance, if they're in-person tournaments, Maybe it ends at 3 o'clock. At 2 o'clock, they will cut off the live leaderboard, so anybody who submits fish after that uh, won't be able to be seen by everybody else in the competition, and they can do like an awards banquet, etc., and uh, all that. So really just personal preference if you want to submit them live or wait till the end. And guys, that's pretty much it. This Tourney X app is very simple to use. It's very user-friendly. It works very well. All right, guys, well, I think that pretty much covers it for this video. If I've left something out, and it's quite possible I have, because, hell, I'm just out here rambling, uh, you know, hit me up in the comments below. I'll answer any question you have. Now, the second video in this series will come out in a few days. Uh, my next video, if you're somebody who watches my channel regularly and you tune in as soon as I post the video, my next video, which is going to air tomorrow, was from a previous trip. That was a trip I filmed earlier this week. The actual tournament video is gonna be filmed this weekend and I will post it probably on Tuesday night. So, but in that video, I'm gonna take you with me. I'm gonna show you out there what I'm doing, go over my strategy, show you the fish I'm catching and we'll post up the results, good, bad or ugly. So, uh, hopefully y'all enjoy this video and video series. I know a lot of people ain't into the whole tournament scene and I don't blame you. Uh, you know, unless I'm personally in the tournament, I don't give a crap. You know, but, uh, you know, I want to put this out there, even though this tournament video has kind of hurt my channel because, you know, I mean, the videos I've posted about tournaments in the past are my, always my lowest viewed videos. People just don't care. But I know there is a group of you out there who are interested, and I want to, you know, again, be a resource for you all, kind of shorten that learning curve and get you more comfortable and get you ready to go in these tournaments. So. 
Hopefully you all found it helpful. If you did, hit that thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Wish me luck this weekend.